In this episode, we'll talk about creating the chart of delivery performance. That what is the delivery performance? Uh, like either the products were delivered on time or products were uh, like delivered uh, late. Uh, they are delayed. Uh, and uh, we will learn about how to create such type of donut chart uh, that is also like interactive chart and it will be impacted by all these buttons uh, uh, on the slicers like if we click on the uh, 2015 then delivery performance on time is 47 percent while our target is 70 percent the same is in 2016 it's good 69 percent on time and our target is 70 percent uh, it should not be delayed like uh, uh, up to 70 percent uh, product should be reached on time and it's our target and in 2017 it's improved also so uh, now we can check that how it improved why it improved we can check for, for each of the product also for each of the customer acquisition type also we can check for the states also so these are all those things that uh, like we need to learn about that how we can um, like you know, what is the delivery performance and uh, so we will learn in this episode that how we will create such type of donut chart uh, that is interactive with the chart with the data and uh, updated with the data if there are any changes in the data so let's learn about this for creating such type of delivery, delivery performance chart <music> Assalamu alaikum, I'm Ishtia Khan and welcome to Grow with Ishtia Khan YouTube channel. In this channel, we will talk about opportunities and growth and how we, you will bring your creativity on the table. How will you present your creative side to your customer or to your boss? Uh, so we'll talk each and everything in this channel. So if you are a student, fresh graduate, early or professional in the early phase of your career or a middle or professional, then this channel is just for you. So subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified of each of the videos that I am posting on this platform uh, to learn about um, uh, different things and uh, different skills and uh, um, to grow and transform yourself. So in this episode we are talking about creating the delivery performance chart and uh, that is the donut chart and how we will create the delivery performance chart so let's now first of all go to the our data this is our raw data and we are going to create the delivery performance that either it is delivered on time or it is delayed now how we will create such type of chart so first of all we will create we will uh, we will uh, create a new sheet and in this sheet is uh, we'll call it delivery performance or performance also we can call it performance this sheet is a delivery performance sheet and why i'm calling it delivery performance so that i can refer it to like later if i want to check it then uh, it will show it to me that this is the delivery performance uh, chart here present here so for next i will insert the pivot table and I already had the name, the name, the table, my, I created the table, sales data, and now after all the fields within that table will appear here. And then for I need delivery performance. And at the same time, I need, uh, you, you can click any of the unit, you can click uh, revenue. Uh, so uh, let's go with the revenue but I need it I do not need that how much revenue is from delayed or how much revenue is from on time but I need the count of products or count of products that were delivered on time and that were delayed so I need the count I can change uh, this custom name to only to count so these are so it means that there are 3480 products delivered on time 2300 delayed now i need the percentage of these products because i need to show that how much products were delivered on time out of the total products so it's then i am i want to convert it into percentage click on this percent sign 
and that's now 60% of our products were delivered on time and 40% products were delayed so it's a huge number and we have set the target the total target total out of 5780 uh, those uh, this data this sales data we are still lagging with we are still struggling with 40 percent of the delayed products and we need to focus on those that why these are delayed which products are delayed in which state are delayed so this uh, one window solution this customer success dashboard will give you information that this amount of product delayed which products were delayed uh, which customer acquisition type were delayed and uh, in which state there are much more delayed products delayed uh, perf de delayed de uh, delivery performance so we can easily find that where is the problem and where we need to focus instead of uh, going at to, uh, into the data and then creating a uh, chart and um, a single chart each time and then analyzing it like uh, analyzing it separately it becomes really difficult but creating such an amazing dashboard, interactive dashboard uh, and using the slicers then it will really help us to uh, like analyze our data uh, in a really good way and uh, it can help us to understand the, our numbers and uh, help us to uh, like uh, um, take some meaning from our from our numbers and then proceed using uh, what we have learned from those numbers and uh, make strategies uh, using these numbers and make plans using these numbers and these analysis so uh, now 60 percent of the power were delayed uh, were delivered on time the delivery performance is on time now we have to create the chart and in order to create the chart we have to insert the pivot chart in the pivot chart i need this donut chart this is donut chart let's see now i do not need the title i do not need these buttons remove these buttons the same is but i need to be like the product that were delivered on time should be on the clockwise side or not on the right side so i need to have in such a way that such type of i need such type of chart so these were the products delivered on time the blue color and products delayed now the same is next i had to insert a text box now if i write directly here then it's not going to give me the reference but uh, in order to refer uh, like if this 60% changes to this number should also change here so I should refer it here and so it's now appeared here and then I had to format it increase the size to 32 and now also align it to center so this is the delivery performance 60 percent delivery performance and i need to only show this that how much is on time and uh, like this type of interactive chart when i will paste it here and uh, like redesign format it somewhat somewhat more then when i click on any of the ears like any of the ear Mm, 1215 then this on time will change this on time uh delivery performance this um, text like um, it, it, it is reference so it's a, so it will change automatically with with because it will filter all the 2015 year 2015 data for us the same in 2016 also for all of the years uh like for all of the years i can uh, go with the product one 
I can go with the product 2, I can go with the product 3, product 4. So same is the case in product 5. So this is such type of interactive chart and this uh, is I reference it here. So this data will change with it along with it. So that, that's the purpose. So this is the donut chart. We can also format it some somewhat more and we can also remove it uh, like in order to increase its size. We can remove it also because we do not need to and we will only show that this is the delivery performance and we can also we will do some more formatting when we are, we are when we are pasting it in the um, uh, it in the, the dashboard design so that's all about how to create the delivery performance chart the donut chart and how to reference the um the data that we want to, dis to be displayed like we want the on time uh, count the on time percentage displayed uh, with the donor chart and how to reference it and it's also interactive so this chart will be interactive chart and it will be changed along with the products along with everything that you, if you, you like, like the slicer you are using so that's all about the daily performance chart hope you you would have learned so um stay tuned and watch this complete series to uh, learn to how to create such an amazing and interactive um, customer success dashboard uh, using all the tools that i am using uh, so stay tuned and watch this complete series thank you for watching do you want to move your career to the next level then subscribe to my youtube channel grow with ishtia khan here you can find videos related to career and personal development learning new skills and how you can transform yourself to grow and attract next big opportunity that is waiting for you also press the bell icon to get notified of the new video shared on this platform also share the video with your friends and colleagues because sharing is caring thank you for watching and stay tuned